This video describes how the live flood storage area works to reduce flood risk. This is the River Medway that flows through Tunbridge in Kent. And this is the natural floodplain of the river. In 1968, the Great Flood affected the southeast of England, causing devastation to homes and businesses. Shortly after these floods, the live flood storage area was built to help reduce the impact of floods on homes and businesses in Tunbridge and Hildenborough. The flood storage area lies between the villages of Lye and Penshurst on the River Medway. The storage area works in combination with the flood walls in Tunbridge Town Centre. The flood storage area is operated to store the highest flows to reduce flood risk to properties downstream. This is the control structure for the storage area. There are three gates which are used to control the flow of the river. In normal flows, the outside gates are closed and the centre gate remains open. A flood storage area operator is on duty 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Their job is to monitor weather forecasts and operate the flood storage area when property flooding is expected. They use an established procedure to decide this. When rain is expected, the operator uses predictions of rainfall amounts and likely river flows to calculate the size of the flood and decide whether the storage area needs to be used and when. If the flooding is minor and only fields and sports pitches are affected, the storage area is not used as homes and businesses are not at risk. When this happens, flood alerts are issued to tell people that there is a risk of flooding to low-lying land and roads. But in bigger flood events, when homes and businesses are at risk, the operator decides to use the flood storage area to reduce the risk of flooding downstream. The operator closely monitors the weather and peak river flows to calculate when to store water at the height of the flooding. Landowners are notified that the storage area will be used. Livestock are moved out of the flood storage area. Ensfield Road, which runs across the storage area, is closed. Rain gauge and telemetry data continues to feed back to the control room and the operator uses this to continually update the operation plan to maximise the flood storage. At the control structure, the centre gate closes and the side gates open. This restricts the flow of water so that the flood storage area fills. Depending on the size of the flood event, water could be stored for days or weeks, allowing the town to weather the storm. After the peak of the flood has passed, the side gates stay open to allow the flood storage area to empty at a controlled rate. This ensures there's space to store water if another flood comes. Once the storage area is empty, the side gates close and centre gate opens, returning the river to normal levels both upstream and downstream.